1 Kings chapter 17, verses 1 through 16. You may read along with me in your worship guide, or you may read it in your own individual Bible. 1 Kings chapter 17 reads, Elijah the Tishbite of Tishbe and Gilead said to Ahab, By the life of Yahweh, God of Israel, whom I serve, there will be neither dew nor rain these coming years unless I give the word. The word of Yahweh came to him, Go away from here, go east and hide by the creek of Cherith, east of the Jordan. You can drink from the stream there, and I've ordered the ravens to bring you food. So Elijah set out and did as Yahweh had said. He went and stayed by the creek of Cherith, east of the Jordan. The ravens brought him bread in the morning and meat in the evening, and he quenched his thirst at the stream. But after a while, the creek dried up, for the country had no rain. And then the word of Yahweh came to him, get up and go to Zarephath in Sidonia and stay there. I have ordered a widow there to give you food. So he went off to Sidon, and when he reached the city gate, there was a widow gathering sticks. Addressing her, he said, please bring a little water and a pitcher for me to drink. She was on her way to fetch it when he called after her, also, bring me a scrap of bread to eat. As Yahweh, your God, lives, the lady replied, I have no baked bread, but only a handful of meal in a jar and a little oil in a jug. I'm just gathering a stick or two to go and prepare this for myself and my son to eat, and then we shall die. Verse 13, but Elijah said to her, do not be afraid, but go and do as you have said, but first make a little stone of it for me and bring it to me, and then make some for yourself and for your son. For Yahweh, God of Israel, says this, jar of meal shall not be spent, and this jug of oil shall not be empty before the day when Yahweh sends rain on the face of the earth in 15. The woman went and did as Elijah told her, and they ate the food, and she herself and her son, the jar of meal was not spent, nor the jug of oil empty, just as Yahweh had foretold to Elijah, a new season. Elijah is led by God to offer ministry. That's what I call what he did when he went to the king and told him what the king, what the Lord had said, that there would be no rain because of the people's sin for ways and to prove that God was all powerful. Now this brother is hiding out by a creek, a creek that has been formed by some runoff rainwater probably that had fallen previous to his pronouncement to the king. He's there, we don't know exactly for how long, but he's there long enough to be comfortable with life at the creek. He's long enough to be secure in life at the creek. He's long enough there, or there long enough, that when it's time to leave, he does not really want to leave. The Bible says he was there being taken care of and being nourished and being restored. And then one day the creek dried up. I want somebody to be with me right there. Because truly for a season, God has blessed somebody with some resource, with some blessing. God has given you something that has been sustaining you for a particular season. It, I mean, it came right at the right time. I mean, you was about to give up and God brought that thing in your life and you were so happy to receive it and, and you've been happy to be blessed by it so much to the point that you become comfortable. Maybe it's a person. Maybe you were going through a rough time and God sent a person in your life for that particular season and now you ready but you're really comfortable. But the Bible said one day that before the brother's very eyes, the creek dried up. 
somebody's creek, if it's not dried up, it's drying up. And I don't mean that as a negative pronouncement. What I simply mean to communicate is this that God is a God that is a God of new mercies. God can bless us with what we need at this moment. God doesn't have to depend on one blessing to sustain us through our life. God gives us the blessing that we need, but right now somebody is trying to hold on to life at a dried up creek. That blessing that had been so powerful in your life is really not blessing you in the same way. You're really not clicking with the person in the same way that you have been clicking because that creek is drying up. You're really not functioning with this thing in the way that you have been previously functioning. Your heart ain't even in it. Why? Because your creek is drying up. But what do we do when the creek dries up and we have not prepared ourselves for it. I, of course, we go into a panic, don't we? I mean, certainly if I have not saved up any money and all of a sudden my, my, my roof caves in and my insurance is not going to cover it, amen, I'm going to go into a panic, amen, because my creek has dried up and i got an issue. How am I going to sustain Somebody said, you know what? And these are my words, I'm paraphrasing it for you. When they changed pastors on us out of the blue, didn't prepare us for it, didn't sit down and talk with us, didn't say nothing for it, it was like my feet drying. I have become so comfortable with life at the creek in that former season. I've been nourished. I, I came to the Lord because of life at the creek. I, I learned how to fellowship with my sisters and brothers down at the creek. I, Oh. It's hard to see beyond the dried up creek. And so sometimes rather than looking beyond the creek, as I said earlier, sometimes we have to go back to the old landmark and look at the old landmark and rather than try to look beyond the creek, sometimes we have to go back and look at how we got to the creek. What was I doing before God blessed me with the season at the creek? What was this church like before the last creek season? I, let's go back and look at that. I mean, I, you, you know this church was hurt real bad. Some of y'all that sitting here now was a part of that season before the creek. And you know how blessed you felt when God ushered in that new season and God set you down by that creek where you could drink at will, where you could be nervous whenever you wanted to. Where it was so comfortable, but now the creek is dried up. I can't see beyond it, so let me go back and remember. 